Welcome to my channel Living Linux. In an earlier video I showed you how to build and run Llama CPP with Vulkan on your GPU and someone asked me to show how to convert a Hugging Face model to GGUF because Llama CPP uh, uses a different kind of format for the models. Now I'm going to use this tutorial as the basis. I'm doing it a little bit different but uh, I think um, it also needs to be updated because some of the names seems to have changed. Anyway one warning up front you're going to use Python and depending on your system uh, you might already have Python installed but it's let's just say system protected so you can't make any changes to it now there are several ways around it I'm going to use PyEnv PyEnv is not necessarily the best tool but I think it is a good tool to start with because you can just activate it once and then forget about it but as soon as you start using a lot of different Python projects um, yeah you might want to keep every project in its own container and then perhaps something like VNV is better so but again I think for novice users that rarely use Python PyEnv is a good option so just to show you that by default Ubuntu has protected the Python installation so if you want to install this with pip it will tell you it's externally managed so again don't fight it don't try to force anything to install but use a tool like PyEnv or VNV or Conda and there's probably some more tools So, the installation of PyEnv. Uh, you need to do a couple of things. Uh, this is the easiest part. The installation itself. Well, I already installed it, so I'm not going to run this command. Uh, but you're not finished yet after this command. And I think when you install it, when you run this command, uh, it will tell you that you have to make some changes to some of the configuration files for instance like uh, bash rc uh, if you're using bash and you might wonder where is that file well it should be in your home directory but it's a hidden file so every file that starts with a dot or directory that starts with a dot is hidden by default but you can show it so you have to add this as explained here and it will also tell you during the installation And they say also do it in your profile file. So for instance here. And I think once you start using PyEnv then it looks like it's adding a lot of stuff. I'm pretty sure I didn't put that there but well. Apparently that's how it is. Um, then they say you have to restart your shell or just reboot your system. You're still not finished yet <laughs> because you need to install the build dependencies. 
So for instance, for Ubuntu, you can just copy this and just execute this command. Well, I already installed it, so I don't need to do this anymore. And then you're able to start using PyEnv. Um, yeah, so PyEnv install minus L that will tell you which things you can install with PyEnv. So you need to go scroll all the way up to the top back again. And these numbers, these are all the Python versions that you can install. Um, now, I already installed something, PyEnv. So, let's just say this is the command to install a Python version. But I already installed a Python version. So, so you can see there is the one that comes default with your system. And I installed 3920. Now what you can do is set this as the Python environment that you want to use for everything. So now you can see that the star is at 3920. And yeah, let's just say if we want to install Hugging Face Hub, well, I didn't use it, but so I, I hadn't installed it previously, but just to show you, now it will install. Uh, to be honest, I didn't use this script. Um, so, but I think this is uh, pretty straightforward. So if you want to use it, just copy this text, um, paste it into a text file that you call or name download.py, and then you can start using it. Um, so, for this video, I used small 360m instruct. So what you can also do is just um, take this link and then uh, it is advised to install git lfs. Like this. Because uh, I think that gives you better support for downloading large files. And you can do something like git clone like this. Oh, whoops. Don't make typos. Now I already installed it, so there's no point in uh, downloading it again. Because you can see I downloaded it with git clone and then you get all these files and I think the most important one is the save tensor file so I think that is all the preparation now is the part where you can convert the model. So you need to have the Llama CPP uh, repository. So you can copy it like this. Now I already built uh, the Vulkan version. So I already have this repository, so I don't need to do this again. Uh, then when you're Add the Llama CPP directory so 
you can just install it like this without going into the directory well I am in the directory so then you just do it like this you remove the directory and then it should work now I already installed this so I'm not going to do that again and from here you should be good to go uh, yeah this might be something interesting I think in my case I have to do Python 3 and here you can see um, I think the name changed. Yeah, see. Uh, yeah, that's it. Convert hugging face to gguf. Dot pi. So there are also other options like convert llama, convert Laura. But in this case, we just go for hugging face to gguf. So this will give you a bit of explanation on all the parameters that you can use. So there are different types of quantization that you can apply with the out type. I'm not really sure because uh, I also saw like Q4 but I only see Q8 and TQ1 and TQ2 so yeah I don't know um, if TQ1 is perhaps Q4 I don't know but yeah I think that's uh, something you can try to explore yourself but just for the sake of the demo I just went with uh, float 16 I think that's float 16 F16 so we have the model downloaded in this directory and let's see where do we have yeah so the command looks like this um, so this is the directory and then we specify the out file the output file and the type if needed and because this is a very small model then it really doesn't take that much time even on something as modest as my Phytium D2000 um, it is an octa core but with very old arm cores the think quite similar to the raspberry pi 4 cpu cores so yeah we have eight cores but like I said, it's from the same generation as the Raspberry Pi 4. Um, yeah, once you have executed the command, then uh, when you didn't specify a specific directory, then the model file is just generated in the directory where you executed the command so it should be this one well perhaps it didn't uh, override it because it was already there but uh, yeah like I said it's uh,
this is how it should work for you or oh no sorry this one this one is it this one yeah so it did override it yeah now I remember this model the one without instructs it wasn't really usable uh, for chat but the instruct one is usable for chat so let's see we have converted the model and yeah let's start it So, and again, just to uh, show you that we're still running with Vulkan. As you can see, there's hardly any load on the CPU. Now, while it's still busy with answering the question, uh, again, I'm not saying that PyEnv is the best tool uh, to manage Python environments. But it is an option and just use the one uh, that you're really comfortable with if you already have experience with Python tools or environments. It looks like that uh, the conversion itself, uh, you don't even need that much CPU power to do it. Uh, yeah, even on my old octa-core A72 ARM cores, it was uh, yeah reasonably fast. And yeah, I hope that um, this video will help you with converting the models that you want to use and that you're not dependent on someone else to convert it and upload it to Hugging Face. So if you still have any questions, let me know in the comments. Uh, I'll try to answer them. This is all for now and I hope to see you again in my next video.